Right, so the topic for today is called creative entropy. So if you have a physics background and think of entropy, you're probably thinking of the second law of thermodynamics. But that's not really what we're talking about. We're actually talking about in the broader sense of the, the tendency of things to tend towards uh, disorder. So like the more you go, go forward, the more disorder you're going to get. And I thought it kind of really well described the creative process. And that's why I'm going to talk about like how to manage the creative process. And secondly, I thought it was just like nicer than creative mess. But the, uh, the creative process is quite a lot of mess. But where the mess happens is quite important, as we'll see later. So in a perfect world, this would happen. So you open Tableau, and then poof, there is like this perfect dashboard, like everything is great. And just out of curiosity, is there anyone that actually knows what dashboard that is? Superstore, Superstore yeah, exactly. So this is like the typical, typical Tableau dashboard, Superstore, when you, when you open it. So this is kind of what, what uh, we would all want. But in reality, this is kind of what happens. You stare at a blank canvas, and you just wait for inspiration to strike you. Has it happened to anyone beside myself? Right. So often what tends to happen, I find as well, is that you find all these amazing insights. And you want to display that, and you want to display that, and you want to display that. And then you end up with something that looks like this. It's like, yes, there's a lot of information there, and they're great. But it's a little bit hard to read. <laughs> and so often, especially when you come from a very analytical background, you tend to kind of over-engineer solutions. So like, your client wants to see this, but it would actually be great if you could actually show this and this and that and this and that. And so we often end up kind of over-complicating things quite a lot. And so we kind of follow this, this line most of the time. So we have on the axis quality of the idea and the amount of time put into the idea. And here you can see like the quality and the amount of time like increases quite, quite exponentially, but then you get to this whole lot of mess. And that's kind of where you get to, to this bit. And so you kind of just like keep adding stuff and keep adding stuff and keep adding stuff and overthinking stuff. And you want to do like, like nested LODs and all kinds of like weird and wonderful stuff. But um, actually, as you can see, there is a cutoff point where the more time you think put into it, it actually becomes worse. So what the mess should look like, it should more look like this. So you have a lot of mess in the beginning where you're kind of figuring things out, you're prototyping a lot, you're exploring different options. And then you kind of slowly but surely get to a key insight. So you focus on, you take one, one thing, one story, and you kind of like build around that. And so you get to the concept, and then once you get to the concept, you kind of slowly phase out the mess and start to more implement and make it look pretty and nice and interactive. And what Tableau is really great is that you can actually take one central element and in implement really quickly around it. So you can like put, put something on a horizontal, put something vertical, add a map, do this, that, and the other. And quickly, you can pu push things around. So in the opposite of a, of a SQL server, you don't have to be worried about, oh, you missed a comma, or like, this didn't think, this didn't work that I thought I, thought I would. It's very kind of drag and dropping. And that makes it very quick to kind of really go through a lot of things very quickly. And once you have gone through all of these iterations, you probably end up with something that looks, looks quite nice. And then once you have gotten to kind of the main point, you have your story ready, you have your main message, and you have iterated so the client is quite happy with, with it, then you can, say, add some uh, interesting things, like a visualization in, in the tooltip, or kind of just work a little bit more with uh, the colors or little, little things like that. And contrary to popular opinion, maybe, formatting can take an awful lot of time. So it, it can, when you go from the iteration process, it like, might, take, might take quite quickly, but getting it from, from uh, quite, quite good to like, really good can take quite a while, so just kind of being prepared for that is a good idea. Other than that, that is all I had for today. <laughs>